Tulsa flock together. You run around with losers, you will end up a loser. Unconsciously, unconsciously, you will pick up their ways, you will pick up their habits, you will pick up, most importantly, their attitude about life. If you're around cynical, negative people all the time, you will become cynical and negative. So you've got to watch yourself. Many of us are living out the lives of other people, living out their conclusions, living out of their consciousness. The other thing is that you begin to look at, looking at your life and looking at what it is that you want to achieve, another crucial thing that you must do is align yourself with powerful people. Align yourself with people that can encourage you people that can empower you, people that you can learn from, people that you can grow from. That's very important. See, if you have people around you that can contribute to your growth. When I wanted to become a speaker, I joined the National Speakers Association. I wanted to be around the Dr. Norman Vincent Peels, the Zig Ziglers, the Dwayne Dyers. I wanted to be around people that were doing what I wanted to do. I wanted to learn from them. And you want to do that too. You want to align yourself with people who think like you, people who dream like you, people who want more out of life, people that are stretching and searching and seeking some higher ground in life, as opposed to the majority of people. Somebody said, always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. And so you don't want to be on the bottom. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, let's. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. So think about that. So as you begin to look toward making this your decade, as you begin to look toward making your life different, as you begin to look at yourself, you've got to redefine yourself. Who are you right now? And who must you become in order to create what you want? What has to change about you? What is it that you're doing right now that would be a liability for you? As you begin to look toward the future and take inventory of yourself. What is it about you right now that you've got to leave this behind because this no longer fits? Looking at where you want to go and the kind of person that you must become, the kind of standards that you have for you. What is it that you must do differently? Repeat out to me, please. If you want to keep on getting what you're getting, keep on doing what you're doing. See, that doesn't take an eye inside. All right. It makes sense unless you change your pattern, unless you change the way you're thinking, unless you change your behavior, you're going to continue to produce the results in your life. See, all of us are winners, but some of us are producing results that we don't want. And so all you have to do is look at your game plan, look at your strategy. How is it that you have been being? What is it that you've been doing to produce this? So you are the director, you are the producer, you're writing the script, you're the star of your life. And as you begin to look at your life, you can decide whether or not it's a smash or whether or not it's a flop. That's in your hands.